All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone. Appreciate you coming on today. We got a very interesting webinar, a little different than normal. A lot of times I try to give you strategy on um, social media and stuff like that. Today I'm going to kind of put a different hat on and just try to uh, educate you on a lot of the technology that the carriers are providing. Um, as most of you guys know, uh, used to be you know, really on the other side of the insurance business where I was a wholesaler of a variety of products and personally sat on a lot of technology boards um, for the insurance carriers where they would have me test out all sorts of new things that they were trying to you know, give to their brokers and stuff like that. And you know, one thing I'll, I'll tell you right off the bat is that the insurance carriers, they do a terrible job at, um, at telling the brokers what's available. So if some of this stuff surprises you and you're kind of like, well, I had no idea that was available, you know, don't take any offense to it. The carrier just, you know, let's face it, they're just big companies and communication is usually not their strong suit. So my job today or my goal today is just to kind of walk you through some of the technology that's now out there that you can put on your website that hopefully I can help you put on your site uh, to make your agency a little bit more efficient and, um, you know, more importantly, to hopefully satisfy some of your clients that, um, you know, demand uh, a higher level of service. So some of the things we're going to review today is we're just going to talk about uh, carrier quoting tools. Uh, we're going to talk about carrier enrollment tools. Um, and we'll talk about some of the customer service tools. And uh, guys, today I have quite a few of you on. I know that some of you guys specialize in P&C, some of you guys specialize in life and health, some of you guys do everything. So some of these tools are more specific to other areas than others. You know, when we're talking about the customer service tools, you know, we're definitely talking about personal lines. Um, but anyway, I'll go through this stuff. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, uh, please type them into the GoToMeeting toolbar. And at the bare minimum, I'm confident you'll learn some stuff. So right off the bat, What's going on is, and this has been going on now for I would say six or seven years, is the carriers are, they're after distribution, right? They're trying to find ways to sell their product. And obviously most carriers use brokers as a distributional channel. Um, but what the carriers have been developing are portals for their brokers um, that they can allow, you know, basically the carrier is developing technology that you can put on your website so your potential clients can quote their products. Um, and, you know, the product lines we're talking about, auto insurance, health insurance, and I mean, I'll kind of go through it, voluntary benefits, wedding and event insurance, life insurance, and it's pretty much endless. Um, I was thinking about kind of going through and, and listing all the carriers, but that, that kind of felt overwhelming. I think what I'm going to leave you guys with is if you're selling something, you're selling a lot of something, email me afterwards and say, hey, Ken, do you know of any other agencies that have this technology? Or plan B, just email your rep. But just to give you an example, from an auto insurance standpoint, Travelers, Mercury, Progressive, Farmers, Safeco, they all offer now uh, portals for brokers to put on their websites. And I pulled up one. Let me see if I can find it here. Bear with me. Um, uh, here we go. Uh, so here's an example of Travelers, and it, it actually timed me out. Let me see if I can get back into it. I uh, closed, of course. But Travelers absolutely offers a custom portal um, for, for brokers um, that they can put on their sites that the consumer can quote their auto insurance products. And basically the way it works is, is you go to the, you know, your, either your rep gives you the information or you log in to your um, broker portal on their website and um, you get a link that you can give to me and I put on the site. Consumer goes on to the site, starts quoting um, that product, they can see the rates. They Most of the time these portals they can't enroll um, and then you will be emailed and they'll say Bob Smith was looking at you know X, Y, and Z auto insurance from Progressive and you can call them up and say hey look you don't want this, it's way overpriced, you know you want this. Whatever. My point is, is these are absolutely available to kind of put on the site. So here's an example. I actually just went in um, to a client I'm helping, and I'm in his health net portal. Now this guy, this guy's in California. He's a life and health agent, and um, this is how hard it can be for the broker to find it, though. Okay. So 
I've logged in. I clicked on I'm a broker. I logged in, and this is his broker portal. And if you look way down here, there's a little thing that says update your co-branded IFP website information. Honestly, I don't think anybody would think that was, you know, quoting an enrollment for my website. But, you know, these are the geniuses at the carriers, and this is how hard they make it. But my point is, is this is a link that we've put on this gentleman's website so the client can actually quote and enroll for this individual medical product. And it may actually be grouped 2 to 10 as well for, for health insurance. Um, so again, I don't want to get into super specifics um, on how these things work uh, because it can be different, uh, certainly for each product line. Um, but at the end of the day, they do exist, and um, you know that, uh, in my opinion, is, is something to be cognizant about. So that being said, and I'm having some problems here with my highlighter here, guys. Bear with me. Uh, um, there we go. Sorry. Um, so that's that's one thing to keep in mind. And again, I wish I could be more specific on specific products, but I think what I want you to take away from it is, is A, the carriers are moving in a direction where they want to have you quote the products off your website. That gets them the, I mean, it, it makes common, it's common sense. The consumer is online. The carrier needs to get to that online audience. You're their distribution channel. So they're going to supply you with technology to acquire that distribution, right? So I think my point is, is if you're selling auto, you're selling, if you're selling health insurance, voluntary benefits, travel insurance, dental insurance, vision insurance, pet insurance, life insurance, most of those products from the carriers are now available to be put on your website to quote. Is it for you? That's up for you to, for you to decide. But I think today I want you to be cognizant of it, and if you're concerned about it, email me or call your rep and say, hey, look, do you have any technology we can put on our websites? Now, there is another thing um, to maybe confuse you a little bit more, and that is comparative engines. And these are from what are called third-party companies. So, you know, I understand that you may be selling auto insurance, and you're saying, hey, Ken, we don't want people just quoting Progressive. We want them quoting Travelers. We want them quoting Safeco. We want them to see all the prices at once. Well, there are companies out there. For auto and home, there's a company called Easy Links that you can put an engine on your website where they can actually see the entire market. Now, of course, they can enroll on these engines, at least the auto and home, but those are available. So that's another thing I want you guys to be aware of, third-party companies that are creating tools that you can put on your site um, to let the client quote the entire market in one spot. And you know, for health insurance, there's companies like Norvax, Quoted, Health Connect, Life Insurance. There's a company called Copy Life out of Colorado. Pretty sure they have almost a monopoly on this stuff. Auto and Home. There's companies like Easy Links. There's there is other companies as well. So I want you to just be cognizant of, of those tools as well. Um, and really what I'm getting at, guys, is I'm just trying to put some seeds you know, in your head to help you try to improve the way you're doing business to get you more efficient. Um, and I want you to use your website to get there. So I'm just trying to give you some insight here on what's available. I think it really does start with trying to talk to your reps because your reps know about this stuff. They just don't proactively tell you. From a customer service standpoint, um, you know, as I mentioned with the health, there actually is online enrollment. Um, especially for a lot of these small products, the individual medical, the travel medical, the dental. Um, you know, obviously the commissions are not going up for these products. Um, so it makes a tremendous amount of sense to put these portals on your site so you can efficiently, you can efficiently enroll, um, you know, um, you can efficiently enroll what you're trying to uh, obviously sell. Uh, and then from a customer service standpoint, um, from a customer service standpoint, there are some really good technology tools for the personal lines. Um, if you, uh, whoop, I had it open here. So here's an example. Um, you'll see that on this website, we've built in all sorts of claims tools onto the website where the client can go in, again, for personal lines, click on CNA, and go right into the CNA uh, file a claim area and actually file it on the website. You know, and, and I guess my point is, is if you're selling home and auto, 
I would suggest you build these things onto your site. I mean, I'll build them on for your site. Just give me a list of your carriers. I would suggest that you do offer these to your clients um, because it's just, again, now you're open 24-7. Uh, it certainly can uh, allow you to become more efficient, and um, and it keeps the consumer, keeps your clients from going directly to the carrier where they can do this stuff, right? We want to keep them on our websites. And this is an example of all the technology that's out there, um, certainly for uh, the personal lines, uh, customer service. Um, I did have an example. Um, here's an example of uh, wedding insurance that Travelers offers. Um, again, you have to be PNC licensed, but the consumer can go in here, click the exact type of event they want, and actually go through and buy it right off your website. Again, I'm, so, I'm always surprised how many agents who sell travelers aren't even aware of this, but they actually sell the product. It's something you want to put onto your site. So what I suggest is um, I actually put together a little page here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, what I suggest, regardless of what you sell, I would suggest putting these products on your website. Um, there's a little company called dentalplans.com. You know, the consumer can quote up to 30 individual dental plans. It's like a, it's a dental insurance engine. Um, companies like IMG Travel for international travel insurance. Yeah, you're not going to make millions on these products, but they're self-service products where the client can go onto your site, quote and enroll. Um, you know, student travel insurance through Seven Corners. Um, so if anyone's interested in adding these to their sites, just let me know. I'll shoot you this page. You can just, you just sign up. You put your license number in. You get a link. We'll put it on your site. Um, it's easy to do. And um, in my opinion, a lot of these products can be really good door openers, especially the wedding insurance, the travel insurance. You should be thinking about using these things on social media. Uh, it drops people's guard a little bit. You're talking about their vacation. You're talking about them traveling to Hawaii, whatever. They're not thinking about insurance, and now you open the door and you've gotten in. Um, so, you know, I've seen a lot of agents kind of take those things to bigger sales, and um, I think they can be helpful tools. So I suggest that. So what I suggest, guys, is that, um, you know, at the bare minimum, review these things. Keep them in mind. Talk to your carrier reps. If you have any questions, let me know. Come to me, and I'll see if I can you know, get you set up with these things or, uh, you know, give you instructions on how you can go into your carrier partners and put these onto your site. Um, one thing I should also note, um, I've been hired by Constant Contact to actually develop a few apps um, for them. And um, so what does that mean? What that means is, is if you guys use Constant Contact, I can actually get your account upgraded so that you can utilize a lot of their social media apps they have. They actually cost extra. I bet most of you don't even use them. So long story short, if you use Constant Contact, just shoot me an email. Um, let me know, and um, I'll, I'll get you upgraded for free. So just another little bonus if you, if you want that. Um, if you don't use Constant Contact, don't worry about it. But uh, anyway, if you do use it, let me know. So guys, I appreciate your time. Uh, hopefully this was helpful, and um, I'm going to put this on YouTube, and we'll talk next week. I think next week we're talking about Facebook fans. So we'll talk, um, talk then. Thanks again. Have a great week, guys.